Good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to make a simple photo gallery. Sometimes uh, simplicity is uh, not valued but trust me guys things that are simple are easily understood and uh, they have wide penetration. So I thought I'll make a simple flash photo gallery in flash professional CS 5.5. Guys, before I actually start uh, explaining things to you, I would like to show you a published preview. So I'm going to hit Control Enter on my keyboard, guys, to test the movie. We loosely call it a movie, but it's actually a picture gallery. But that's a flash terminology, a movie, testing a movie. Anyways, so guys, we have three buttons out here, which have been labeled pick one, pick two, and pick three okay as I go on clicking on these buttons we actually get the change of the picture okay I've used three buttons and three pictures guys but you can use 10 20 30 whatever that's absolutely all right no issues there cool okay so guys what I'll be doing is I'll be destroying all the layers I'll be destroying everything that's there in the library I'll only be keeping the AS3 layer the action script 3 layer Okay, barely seven lines of action script three guys, barely seven lines. And uh, we will rebuild the gallery and uh, I'll explain simultaneously. Cool. So guys, what I'm gonna do is, let me first select the three layers, the frame labels layer, the buttons layer, and the pictures layer, and I'm gonna dump it. I'm gonna delete it, okay. Let me go inside the library, select everything and delete it. Okay, you can press the shift or the control key to select everything. Then you can just say delete. <coughs> okay, which means, guys, everything inside the library is not there anymore. And um, the only frame that we have right now contains the action script. Cool. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create yet another layer. Let me call it content or the pics there because I'm going to get in the three pictures out here. I'll make sure that the first frame of the pixel layer is selected. Then I'm going to say File. Then I'm going to say Import. Import to Stage. And uh, okay. Then let me get on getting those three pictures. This is the first picture, guy, guys, that I wish to bring in. So I'm going to select the picture. I'm going to say Open. Flash uh, CS 5.5 understands that this a file appears to be a sequence of the images because I have three images in that folder guys they've been named pick1.png, pick2.png and pick3.png Flash automatically understands that it's a sequence of images so it says do you want to import all of the images in the sequence and I would say yes to that yes of course okay guys as you can see automatically all the three pictures place themselves in the top left corner alright and uh, they place themselves on three different frames of the pix layer automatically great guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to select each picture and i'm going to make sure they are aligned to the stage in such a manner that they are absolutely in the center okay using the align span let me do it uh, for all the three pictures one by one there you go Make sure that Align to Stage is checked on, guys. Cool. Guys, I uh, would like to also tell you that I'm using the Essentials workspace. Anyways, so that has taken care of the um, the pictures there. Okay. I need to create one more uh, layer, and uh, I'll make sure that it's called the Frame Label layer. So I'm going to double-click on that uh, layer, and I'm going to rename it Frame Label. L capital, although you can name it anything. Then I'll make sure that I've selected the first frame of the frame label there. Okay. And I'll be in the properties panel, guys. And I'm going to give it a frame label. Pick one. Okay. Let me move it, uh, move the playhead to the second frame. I'm going to press F7, guys. And uh, this layer, okay, after selecting it, I'm going to name it pick two. Let me move the playhead to the third frame, guys. I'm going to press F7. Okay, I'll select that layer and then I'll uh, call it pick 3. 
hit enter okay so guys what I've done is I've selected all the three frames and I've given them label labels pick one pick two and pick three okay that's a small P guys pick one pick two and pick three now this will come in extremely handy uh, next guys what I need to do is I need one more layer and that is the buttons layer let me first double click and rename layer number seven as buttons So that's the buttons there where all the three buttons will go okay now this is important guys the frame labels and the button instance names should match and that that should match whatever is there in the action script as well okay if you notice out here in the action script the event listeners have been added to pick one pick two and pick three okay the frame labels should be pick one pick two and pick three as well as the button instance name should be pick one pick two and pick three only then will this script fire be uh, executed or be functional that's uh, very important anyways so I'm on the first frame of the buttons layer guys I'm gonna go to window and then I'm gonna, gonna go down to common library then I'm gonna go down to but okay let me fetch some buttons guys nice buttons All right <clears throat> just looking for the right button that I want guys not quite yep that's that's more like it all right so let me take it and drop it out here on the stage guys cool let me close it up right um, then guys let me open up the library okay inside that you will find a folder which is buttons dot rounded I'm gonna open up that folder guys I'm going to right click, I'm going to left click uh, on rounded button. You can actually see the preview out here. In fact, let me right click on this and let me say duplicate. Okay. Uh, I'll make sure that it's a button guys and uh, the name is uh, rounded blue copy, which is fine. I'm going to say, okay. This time I'm going to right click on rounded blue copy and I'm going to say duplicate. And uh, this time the name will automatically be picked up as rounded blue copy two and then I'm gonna say okay which is fine I'm okay with that okay so guys we already have rounded blue out here on the stage I'm gonna pull up the rounded blue copy and the rounded blue copy two on the stage cool next guys I'm gonna change the labels so I'm gonna select the first button and uh, double click go inside okay I'll open up the you see there are a lot of layers out here I'm gonna open up the text layer so I can actually change the label I'm gonna double click on the label which is enter and I'm gonna call it pick one let me go back to the main timeline let me repeat the process with the other two buttons guys let me double click go inside open up the text layer guys and double click on enter change it to pick two let me go back to the main timeline and then let me double click on the third button open up the text layer right double click on enter and change it to pick three go back to the main timeline now let me also give them instance names uh, as pick one pick two and pick three so that's the first button is pick one the second button I'm gonna give it an instance name of pick two and the third button I'm gonna call it pick three pick three there you go right let me select all of them together guys this way only the buttons all right let, let me select all the three buttons let me open up the uh, alignment panel align uh, the panel to align align panel okay let me check off this alliance distributor let me check it off and then let me say align top edge cool let me also say I said space evenly horizontally yep and uh, then guys I'll just select all the three buttons uh, once again like so drawing a mark here around it let me shift it a bit towards the right all right cool okay so the buttons are where I actually want them 
So guys, uh, let me reiterate what I've done so far. From the library, I pulled up a button, I duplicated it twice, I changed the labels, okay? I used the align uh, panel, aligns panel, and align the buttons where I want. I, I also made sure that the, and this was very important, that the instance names are pick one, pick two, and pick three, as well as the labels inside that I used were pick one, pick two, and pick three. Very, very cool. Next guys, the frame labels were made to match the uh, names pick one, pick two, and pick three. Okay, so pick one, pick two, and pick three. Okay, guys, and also if I open up the actions panel, you should see that event listeners listeners have been added to pick one and pick two and pick three. Okay, now everything is ready, guys. I need to just test it, and then I can actually explain it to you as well. Okay, let me hit control and down the keyboard to test first. Let me go on clicking on these buttons, pick one, pick two, and pick three. And guys, we have respective pictures opening up, which are lying on three different frames. Okay, now the last part is the most important part. I need to explain the action script to you. Cool. Let me open up the uh, actions panel and explain the action script to you. Now, this is the most important uh, part, guys. Please pay attention. Okay. Uh, in line number one, I've used the stop function, inbuilt stop function. So that'll make sure that the playhead does not rush from the first to the second, second to the third frame in a frenzy. Okay. Uh, now what I've done is um, <coughs> in line five, six, and seven, I've added event listeners to those three buttons, which had uh, instance names, pick one, pick two, and pick three of the type mouse click. So whenever somebody clicks either on pick one or on pick two or on pick three, a function called button click is executed. Now let's understand this function button click. Now this function button click, what it does is it just says go to and stop on frame event.target.name. What is the event guys? The event is a mouse click. What is the target? Target is either pick one or pick two or pick three. What is, what is the name of the target? It's either pick one, pick two or pick three. Okay. So when I say go to and stop pick one, basically it is referring to the frame label. If you remember guys, we have the we had three frames and three frame labels. They were named pick one, pick two, and pick three. And uh, whenever some, when somebody clicks on pick one button, the event or target or name is pick one. So it'll actually go to and stop on frame, which has been named pick one. If somebody clicks on pick two, uh, it'll understand that event or target name is pick two. So it'll go to and stop on frame, which has been labeled pick two. Okay. So that was the trick, guys. Uh, whichever button is clicked. It'll pick up the name and it'll go to that frame which has been named with, and the name is common guys. So the name of the frame label is common. Um, it's the same as the, the uh, button instance name. And hence we are using those same names out here in the action script. We are attaching event listeners of the model of the, of the type click, you know mouse events of the type click onto these three buttons pick one pick two and pick three basically refer to the buttons okay every single frame which have labels uh, pick one pick two and pick three have three different pictures those are bitmap uh, images so that's it guys a very simple and effective uh, photo gallery i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned uh, something new from this okay so i'll see you very soon uh, with yet another tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace